All right, Lady D, whenever you're ready. Okay. All right, well, welcome to What's Going On with Lady D today. And we are live here at the Carl Stokes Wing Library, Main Library, downtown Cleveland. And we are here the second year of the Teen Summit with the Students of Promise. And we have a special guest in the house, no other than Mr. Anthony Brown. Welcome. Where, yeah, let me, where, who is the special guest? I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> the man, not the man around town, but the man around the world. Because you're you. all over. I do a little bit, just a little bit. All right, well, tell our listeners that they are not familiar who you are. Oh, MG, <laughs> let's see. So I am a father, a friend, a mentor, an educator to all who shall come across my path in life and the goal is that hopefully you leave me just a little bit better than how we met that is awesome <laughs> now let's talk about some of the things you've been doing i know you gave away tickets to the cast i did i was trying to win some of them but you know it was for the students <laughs> for the students okay let's talk so about I some of the things you do of work so i work for cleveland metropolitan school district right okay and i work in the department called family and community engagement so basically i get paid to talk where I used to get in trouble for talking. Yeah. Now I get paid to talk on every day. All right. <laughs> I love it. But my, my passion is I do a lot of work and advocacy work for historically black colleges and universities. Okay. So I was excited about that because, um, but that particular game was HBCU night at the Cleveland Cavaliers game. So it was a part of a black heritage celebration. So they had afforded me an opportunity to give away some tickets to some scholars and their parents and to some alumni um, to support the night. And it was a great thing. And then I get to travel across the country and speak to different students and parents and just organizations about the importance of supporting these institutions of higher learning. See, you're a real motivator, and you got a great job. And just see what you can do. Now, was that your dream? Uh, I, I, you know what? <laughs> I think this, it was aligned in some form or fashion. I'm going to take you way back. Remember growing up or when watching the Lou Rawls Parade of Stars telethon? Yes. I used to raise money for the United Eagle College Fund. Exactly. I remember when I was like, I had to be six or seven, my dad went on that episode, you know, the, like the local segment, and he presented a check for $5,000 to help support students going to school. I didn't fully understand what that meant, but I knew that I wanted to give my allowance because I saw my dad giving. Yes. I wanted to give and help somebody else go to school. Who would have thought so many years later, now I'm out here in the community doing the very same thing. <laughs> See, that's what we have to do. We have to set and show by um, letting our children, giving them direction, mm -hmm. giving them exposure. And exposure is what you're doing. Yes. Because if you don't give them exposure and bring them out and connect them with people, places, and things, they will never know. They'll find themselves just right here in this little box. And there's more to the world than this little box. And this little box. I mean, I'm a part of the 100 Black Men of Greater Cleveland, and part of our mantra is they can't be what they can't see. Exactly. So I have to be that example for the next generation of, of doctors, lawyers, and even a king. You know, you got to be that example. So tell our listeners, so now you have a breakout room here today as well. Well, you know, I'm just all over, really. <laughs> I love it, I love it. And uh, what are you talking to the so, students about? So, no, so, so my job today was really to, you know, Bob asked me to come in and just kind of help set the tone for the day. Okay. To talk about the purpose of why today is more than a moment, it's a movement. So you're encouraging young people to make sure that they use their voice. You know, use their ability to be able to speak up and speak out. Be able to understand that this situation or whatever climate we're in, we, it just didn't happen today. It didn't, it won't, it won't start. It didn't start today. It won't end today. Right. But they are part of the progress for things to get better. Yes. And so I was kind of, was kind of to set the tone this morning. And then to bring them back this afternoon as we all kind of gather back for lunch to kind of pick their minds to figure out what were some of the best things they learned from today to kind of talk to some of our other guest speakers and to kind of give them that charge. Now that you, now that you know better, do better. Now, I, I go back when you know, Spike Lee wrote a movie called School Days. At the very end of the movie, he told everybody, and when that, when that one scene at the very end, when Dap runs across the yard, he tells everybody to wake up. But then Childish Gambito wrote a song, um, and he wanted, to, he wanted to encourage everybody, you got to get right, you know. So now that you know better, right. 
do better. Don't keep this information to yourself. Yes. Go out now and share it with somebody else. That's right. That's yes. That's right. That's right. So now we've got Anthony Brown. He's making a difference. I'm making a difference. So now you make a difference and let your dream be complete. <laughs>